We got Tennessee going to the swamp to play Florida, a place they have not won in 20 years, but they feel pretty good about their chances this year. Six and a half point favorites at the time of us recording this to break it all down from VolQuest, Austin Price. Austin, how we feeling, man? Game week, big one in the swamp. How are, uh, how are the vibes? A lot of angst amongst fans. I think that the team is fine, um, you know, but a lot of angst amongst fans just because you, you – not had a lot of success against Florida the last 20 years. And even the games you have won, like last year, you're up 38 to 21 and they score a couple of touchdowns and then get an onside kick and they're throwing a Hail Mary to the end zone um, on the last play, a game that you really had it, you know, without a doubt, you know, with six or seven minutes to go in the football game. And then you kind of start to sit on the lead a little bit. I don't think Josh Heupel will be that way this time. If he can build a 17 point lead at the swamp, it'll be all gas, no breaks. Going for the kill. Got, gotta love it. Gotta love it. But, I mean, I think there's probably some concern as well with what Tennessee did this past weekend against Austin P. Kind of a look-ahead spot. I mean, I don't know how much stock you really put into that. What were your thoughts coming away from the Austin P game as it pertains to this game this coming weekend? Well, I, I'm not going to judge them until after this weekend. That will be my first judgment on this football team. You go back a year ago, and, and, and people – I've had people tweet me, I'm tired of hearing Austin say – uh, who saw the team that, that barely beat Pittsburgh in their third-string quarterback last year winning against LSU at LSU, beating Florida, beating Alabama the way they did, beating Clemson at the Orange Bowl? But it's true. Like, I, I, I'm going to let them get two or three games in, then judge them. I'll judge Joe Milton after this weekend. Now, what's concerning is that it's simple pitch and catch, and Tennessee's struggled to catch the football through the first couple of weeks. Joe's not been super, super accurate. And so does that get better? You know, is that better this week with more focus, with it being the first conference game, a game that, you know, Tennessee needs if they want to start to build the resume to get to where they want to get to? Um, we'll see. Again, I think part of this can be the fact that part of the receiving core missed a chunk of fall camp at times, kind of like Jalen Wright did last year, and he had those fumbles early and then was really good late. Are they better? Do they improve going from game two to game three uh, heading into conference play? Yeah, you wonder if as the stakes get higher, kind of like last year's team, they sort of answer the call to action. What concerns you about this Florida team? You know, I think defensively, you know, like I think they're still pretty solid, especially, uh, you know, in the, in the back end. So, like, where can, you know, where are they at? You know, it feels like they have a lot of confidence, but they've not really played anybody. You know, they played a Utah team who's good, but they were what, you know, playing with a backup quarterback and, mm -hmm. you know, they're not, you know, really adept to throw it all over the lot. I know they had the big play on play number one, but I mean, it, just different than last week they played McNeese State, you know, how, how does the Florida defense hold up? Are they confident because they've not played anybody or are they confident because they're actually pretty good? Um, I, I think we'll see Saturday because I think Tennessee will do some different things. A lot of bullets left in the chamber for Josh Heupel at this point. I think they've been super vanilla, but again, though, it still boils down to execution. Uh, you know, the, the simplest of things has, has not come easy to Tennessee through two weeks. I'm curious to see if Tennessee does score points, what happens then to Graham Mertz? Because he threw the ball like 44 yeah. times against Utah, and that's not, I don't think, in the game plan they want to run down there in Gainesville this coming weekend. So if they can put some pressure on him, I think things could get uh, very, very interesting. Austin, what, yeah. what does a win mean for Tennessee having not won in the Swamp in 20 years? What, what would that mean for this team going forward in 23? Well, it would be massive, uh, more so just for the team to get a win. Like, I don't think they're thinking about that they've not won since, you know, I was in college, right? Like, you know, they, they, and I'm 40 now. So, I mean, you know, you, you start putting it into the context, like it's been a while. Um, but I think for them, it, it, it sets them up to likely be, you know, undefeated when they go into the bye week, which is in early October. They got UTSA next week, then they got South Carolina. And you're not going to have anybody, hear anybody talk about it, but that thing circled, circled, and circled again with Sharpie. Uh, after that South Carolina game last year over in Columbia. So that one will be very, very important to this group. And so I think Tennessee, if they can win this weekend, they've got a, a really good shot to be undefeated heading into the bye week. And then you have A&M the second weekend of October. And then, of course, Alabama the third weekend in October. Kind of feels like that that uh, table-setting game, if you will. Like how we yeah. viewed Tennessee after last year's win over Florida. They just kind of 
poured jet fuel in that operation and took off and then beat Alabama. But regardless, I can't wait for it. Austin, appreciate you making time. Y'all, if you even like Tennessee football, forget love. If you even like Tennessee football, if you care about college football at all, get a membership at VolQuest. Be dialed in for all things Tennessee ball and all things pertaining to the Vols. Austin, appreciate you, man. Enjoy the game. We'll talk again real soon. Thanks, J.D. Appreciate you, buddy. Tennessee fans, if you liked that video, make sure you get a membership over at VolQuest. Going to keep you in the know for all things revolving around your Vols. Also, subscribe right here to the On3 Roundtable YouTube channel.